Hi, I'm Candace Sorensen. The Shenandoah Public Library recently hosted Friday Destinations, where Chuck Oxenford talked about his trip to Antarctica, where he saw the March of the Penguins. The coat she has on is with our standard wear while we were on a ship in Antarctica. Antarctica is the coldest, windiest, and driest continent of all. It has six months of 24-hour daylight and six months of 24-hour night. Then we boarded the ship in Ushaya, and the name of the ship was Antarctic Dream. This is a picture of the map uh, and the route that we took, uh, leaving Ushaya on the upper left and down to the South Shetland Islands. And there was no rocking, hardly any movement at all. The only thing that uh, was maybe a bit scary was the sound of the ice hitting the ship. This is a zodiac that we, Pat was talking about, that we spent a lot of time in. Once we got into the islands, we'd spend morning trips in those and afternoon trips. This was the, the joy of the first <laughs> trip ashore, was to get out and walk amongst the penguins. These, we saw basically three different types of penguins. Uh, this one is called the chin strap. And I think you can see <laughs> why. But these are young ones. You can see the fur is a little more downy looking. There were a lot of babies or young ones walking around in the, at the time we were there. Mentioned we were told not to get closer than 15 feet to a penguin. Problem is nobody told the penguins that. <laughs> They have no fear, they would not run, and they cackle, there was a lot of noise going on, but they had no fear of us being there. This is a penguin that is sitting there looking at a young one. And this is kind of a sad story because that young one is dead. And it's dead, go ahead. And it's dead because of a bird called a skewer that had come down and got a hold of that baby and killed it. 